You just have to you have to decide how you want to win the exchange. So you can go knight f3, bishop a1, bishop h6. Um, there are a variety of ways of doing this. The uh, computer seems to prefer knight e to c4 here. That was the other move, but... Yeah, ranking knight d3 as the fifth option. But I, I don't know how much... Uh, how much difference there is. Yeah. So... Now knight b4. Yeah, this seems to be a blunder by your opponent. So he should have played... Uh, per, per the engine, he should have played queen takes d3. Yeah, that's why I thought he was going to play bishop h1. And play, play knight c3. And have your bishop uh, either be traded or have your bishop been stuck there. After rook f1, seems to be a significant error. Uh, knight b4. Knight b3. Yeah, now ancient actually likes taking on a1 first. Uh, slightly better. Because that allows you to take on a2 with a rook once this rook moves. And get your rook uh, involved in the attack as ah, well. Ah, that's true. But knight takes b3 is also uh, leads to a significant advantage for black. Take. I wanted to keep the bishop and bond. I didn't want to get attacked. Yeah, so here uh, the engine already thinks you're completely winning here. Yeah, I with, thought so uh, too. Minus uh, one and a half. Um, Rookie eight. Still need to be precise, of course. And bishop g2. And now I, I, I have a variety of moves. I just wanted to shut down any counterplay um, or any cheapos. So I just put the bishop on e5. Yeah, very positional. So we define move queen a5. Knight d4. Here, here, here rook d8, right? Yeah, you play queen d8. Yeah, right. no, but it like rook d8. Oh, the engine likes rook a8. Then knight a3 check. Basically, the engine thinks that if you keep queens on the board, then you can get to his king much faster. Okay. I put the end game just once. So. The end game should also be one but probably a little bit more work. So it looks like his best practical chance was to trade queens mm -hmm. and try to hold that end game. So once he plays queen b b7, computer almost gives him like minus seven here. And uh, you execute it and execute this position very precisely. Yeah, and just force mate and nothing he yeah. can do. Pretty cool. So what, what, is, what is your, how would you summarize this game? Um, I just played my prep. Very comfortable. I like the e5 square, and it's very hard to. Once the knight got d5, it's hard to play for white. It's sort of a uncomfortable position. So um, that's it. Very cool. Thank you, Eric. Three and a half out of four. Went really well.